Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to talk about IM readiness, which stands for inspection and maintenance readiness. Uh, you may have also heard this referred to as readiness monitors. And what we're looking at here is a scan tool. This hooks up to most vehicles that are 1996 and newer, and they're pretty inexpensive. You know, they can get expensive as well, but there's plenty in the inexpensive range as well. You just wanna make sure that it does have the IM readiness features. So um, I'm going to show you how it hooks uh, into my 2006 Toyota Corolla right now, and then we will go into the I Am Readiness feature. All right, guys, so here's my 2006 Toyota Corolla, and the OBD2 port is right down here. And um, if you notice, the top is longer than the bottom, and the sides are angled, so just make sure that you hook it up the right way. Okay, so I am readiness. What it is, these different monitors in your vehicle, what they're there for is to perform self-testing on the emission system. Um, and so, you know, this is a really good thing to uh, be able to do and look at before you go get your vehicle emissions tested uh, to make sure that all of your monitors are uh, good to go for the emissions test. So um, we're going to go into the I am readiness feature here and I can show you the different monitors and the different different statuses and what they mean. This should boot up any second. There we go. So we're going to go to I am readiness status. Okay, so here are the different monitors and there are three different statuses. There's something that's going to say like okay, complete, or ready. Um, and then there's a, another status that will say something like NA, which is not available. And then there's a third status that will say something like incomplete or not ready or not complete, something along those lines, just depending on the OBD2 scanner that you have. Um, the ones that say okay means that the self-test was able to perform. The ones that say NA mean that they're not available on this vehicle. And then if we go to the next page here, we have one that says INC for incomplete. And that means that the test has not been able to perform. Um, so this is something we would want to get, uh, you know, to complete before we went and got our vehicle emissions tested. Um, and the way that we do this, so when it says INC, the, mo the two most likely reasons that it's going to say that is because you've disconnected your battery recently or you recently reset your trouble codes with a code scanner like this one. And when you reset your trouble codes, it also resets the monitor status. Okay, so there are two different types of monitors. There are continuous monitors, meaning that from the time you turn on your car, they are testing. And then there are non-continuous monitors. That means that certain driving conditions need to be met before those monitors will perform their self-test. So the way that you get it to change from like INC incomplete to okay is to go through drive cycles. Um, you know, you may have to go through one drive cycle. You may have to go through multiple over the course of a couple different days and the drive cycles are different for different vehicles so you're going to have to contact your local dealership to find out what the drive cycle for your vehicle is but generally speaking if you take a 20 to 30 minute drive of a mix of uh, in-city and freeway driving over the course of two different days uh, most of these monitors are going to change from incomplete to okay all right, so another thing that might be happening is if you have a incomplete that is not changing after a couple of drive cycles, um, it's possible that you have a pending trouble code that's not allowing that monitor to test. And that's what's so great about these scan tools as well, is you can, you know, use them to find out what the trouble codes are, um, and then either, you know, decide if you want to make the repair yourself or talk to a mechanic and uh, have them repair it. But it's great because if you know what the trouble code is, you can talk to the mechanic ahead of time about the possible uh, reasons for that trouble code and then the possible um, costs associated with a fix uh, for those types of problems. So all right, so there are a lot of different monitors in here, and in a different video, we can go through the specific monitors and talk about what they are and what they're for. But the purpose of this video was to give a overview of the I am readiness and what it is. And so I hope that did that. You know, I hope that you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Um, this is a very valuable feature to be able to use before you do go get your vehicle emissions tested because you're going to know ahead of time, um, you know, what's going 
going on with the the monitors within your vehicle and if they're ready to go through an emissions test. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.